This is ThinkTech Hawaii, Community Map. Hey, aloha, and how you doing? Gordo the Techs are here. And welcome to Ibachi Talk. Great to have you joining us. We have in the house today, we have on the far, on my far left stage right, <laughs> stage right. right. Rick, the fun Meister and healthcare executive. Yeah, and now, nice to see you, sir. Thank you. And we have Mr. Lanning, our Hello, security everybody. guy here. So this is your show today, and we're going to talk about the blockchain, which is the underlying foundation of cryptocurrency, and whether it might have a place in healthcare. Ah. So will the blockchain have a place in healthcare? And we're not experts in this, but it's a, it's a conversation we're going to have to see if there might be something that could happen in this space. So okay. grab yourself a Libation. Yeah, where's our libations? We have no libations today. Wow. We're, we're, we're going to be healthy. Because I, I spilled that one last week. Yeah, I think no, we got too. busted. So we got Jay yelled at us. So we're going to have, we're going <laughs> <laughs> to sit here and you know, pull, up, pull up an empty cup and join us <laughs> as we uh, sit here and talk about. And I'm um, speaking for Angus. And you're speaking. And Ang no, Angus is um, uh, persona no grata He's today. making too much money off Bitcoin. He's <laughs> off. He's Boy, off took a day off, Bitcoin didn't he? Around. Speaking of which, we'll start with Bitcoin. Okay. The underlying underlying foundation of which is the blockchain, blockchain. is now trading at what forty two hundred bucks. Yeah, I don't know. I got forty two hundred dollars. I got a bunch. So was it a couple of weeks ago? I gave you twelve dollars. Uh, and, and how much you got now? Twenty two. Okay, can I get my twelve bucks back? It soon. <laughs> as soon as it a little, this should double by the time the show's over. I'll feed, I'll right feed you now. back. Yeah, I'll feed you back. <laughs> Wait, I gave your lovely bride some too. He has, you don't have to talk to my bride about he that. He has proof of it too, because because I, I got a distributed the, I got ledger. That's right. That, yeah. He knows he gave it to us. Anyway, it's an, this is an interesting kind of thing because we're talking yeah. about you know cryptocurrency, the blockchain, and 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 what's happening. And I'm I'm personally of the belief that this is the next new um, internet um, evolution, revolution, whatever you want to call it. This is as big as when the internet hit. Wow. Us technology for this so for piece technology. of technology for what what it what it is and you know and you're you're the security guy and I've got I, I got a slide here we'll show you just like a, this is from 2015 you know how much money do you think we spent trying to protect healthcare data in 2015 just to protect it not enough five <laughs> over five <laughs> a bunch of it got taken anyway so, so whatever we spent we five point six billion dollars was wow. spent trying to protect healthcare records. That how, we know of. And how many did we lose <laughs> anyway? Yeah, I know. Like, how many do we lose? There so, it is. There it is. And see, when you see a comment by that 5.6, that means it was a British, a, a European study, because they use commas instead of periods. Why? Did you know that? What's wrong with these this people? This is why this is an educational program. 10 million, 193 million records were lost because we spent $6 billion. 193 million records were lost. And that for five and a half, so if we just spent... Ten and a half billion, where we've only lost a hundred rec million records. Who knows? And how? Where were all those records stored? And how were they stored? Where do you think? Hey, you're the, the fundmeister. You know. Yeah. Where were stored. they before, and where um, are they now? And my comment would be, they weren't stored very well. <laughs> if 193 million got hacked. Yeah. Yeah. I think most and, of that was Anthem, right? And the 5.6 billion dollars didn't didn't spend enough to keep them. Thing. How many databases do you think are out there in this, just in the U.S.? Forget the globe, globe whether it be, you know, Britain, Canada, all of those. Is there anybody uh, up there? Well, I left, oh. so that everyone goes out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. But, but, but 193 million, 193 million is like almost two-thirds of the nation. Of this in country, one year. Yeah, no, this is a global number. But oh, I, okay. No, that's a global number. It's, it's, um, it's a uh, number that is not global, necessarily global, but it's the... Uh, the um, Britain, Canada, U.S. Okay. But even still, that's a lot of people. Yeah. They don't have that many, do they? Canada? Well, even Br Europe and all them. <laughs> this is not a geographic or history <laughs> show. It's more than well, Canada. I just don't know the populations, but I mean, that's still a lot. It's more than million. Kentucky. Is, well, I know. Well, there's the three records from Kentucky, because nobody goes to the doctor over there. <laughs> that's, well, they're that's all... The, that's, <laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble. There was three records in Kentucky, and they were all related. <laughs> <laughs> There goes the Olello show. Oh, okay, I yeah, forget I that. Think, I think that's Arkansas where they're in. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, that's true. The, the, I'll save you on that ooh, one. Ooh, I almost said something I shouldn't have. Um, but anyway, so... Yeah. so I'm but, looking for some payback from Kentucky. Go home. How, so how many databases do you think? Uh, hundreds of thousands of databases that are open and available to individuals, your doctors. That, I mean, think of it about today. How many databases do you think your name is showing up in healthcare records? Good Lord. I, uh, 
Yeah. Well, you have one have record, but there's multiple ways they can get to it, right? No, like yeah, Epic or you, those big systems hold it. Systems, but it's you're, my doctors, it's my hospital. They can all access it, right? It's, it's my pharmacy, it's, uh, your radiologist, my, you your know, neurologist. Well, neurologist. My brain damages. Your neurologist. I'm too, too I know. afraid. You had that bone from your, that, but, that yeah, nerve from your butt. From your, uh, yeah, your yeah, operectomy yeah. to give you that. Don't have that outlook on life, yeah. <laughs> There's only a few, uh, I understand what we're talking but, about. You know, I go get my glasses. I your glasses? Go. Your pharmacist? Yep. Um, my dentist? Your dentist? Well, my Oh, I don't have a dentist. My teeth are like stars. They come so, out tonight. So you don't actually know when your access, your Davis is being accessed. You don't know. How do you know? Yeah, it's not like it you don't approve it. Like you know how you, you can, we talk about how you could freeze your credit records, for right. example. You can't freeze how your you health care record. Because that way, if you were in an accident, you don't want it frozen. How many doctors do you think you, have you, you've seen over the over the years? I just went. I just had some labs and stuff done. Yeah, because I mean, you're getting ready to do the, the Iron Man, right? So well, that's the, that was the idea until they told me about the brain damage problem. Yeah, and, well, that's why you're doing the Iron Man. Because well, of the brain I, damage prob problem. Probably. Yeah, yeah. But so you've got, so but all of that stuff is in databases everywhere. Yeah. And who, how secure are they? Well, well they're not. They're, I think the humans on the the access end of the problem. I think the database is probably encrypted, but people can still you get in. Well, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to. It's got I, HIPAA. There, no, there's well, HIPAA compliance. For, for 10, I, yeah, I, 10, 15 years exactly. Federal HIPAA laws yeah, yeah. have required these to be encrypted. And do you think they all are encrypted? But to be secure. Right. Do you think but they all are? What? A hundred and well, that many got stolen. Three million of those HIPAA protected? Yeah. Or allegedly got, HIPAA protected? Well they they probably got protected. getting the key too, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like so they're you know, they're using someone with access to the record, so therefore And so and therefore you're real confident that your all your records are just fine. Well I'm sure they have to to make a request, right? You know, have to request a block of records, right? <laughs> so, you know, via someone's Authorization. Authorization. They're not, because you just go in to hack a broken, uh, an encrypted record, that's really nothing good to you. Yeah, if you always get one medical record, it could be the point. You, it could well, be but the if point it's encrypted, because you wouldn't decrease. million Slowly. records <laughs> Slowly. done if you're not hacking them. Yeah. Well, they're, I mean, they're exfiltrating a big chunk. So, I mean, I, you know, there's, they're, jokingly, that, you know, so, so that, you know, whether you're, you're a dentist or whatever, some of these dentists and doctors have been around for 30 years, right? Practicing. They and don't. they're using the same systems they've been using when they, mm. they, you walk in there, the files are all sitting there in the rows, yeah. and whatever they've got, they're in there. Do you think they've got the most sophisticated systems in there protecting them? I'm sorry, I don't feel that confident. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm sure, obviously, there's holes. So here, lo and behold, and this is where we come back to the concept of the blockchain. Right? Okay. So we've got literally, I would say, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of databases with all of our medical records or portions of them yeah. all over. I mean, whether you be at, I don't care what hospital, if you've ever gone to any hospital, they've got a record. If you've ever had an x-ray, they've got a record. If you ever had prescription drugs, they've got a record. Just go down, the, go down the list. When you went into the emergency room, they've got a record. Oh, by the way, do you have insurance? They've got a record. Have you had multiple insurance companies? They've got, so all of those records are all over the place. Mm. And we don't know. That's the point. There's no we real, don't know. There's no real It's my data. It's my record. information. And by the way, do we know if it's correct? If it's accurate? I don't know if what they put in that medical record is correct. I have no idea. Is it really you? Is it really me? I could be you. We look so much alike. Actually, I look it could like be you. me. <laughs> my son. <laughs> the fun Lucky baster. you. You don't look like him. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so that's, this is the whole point. Yeah. So when, you, so when you go back and you look at this whole concept of the blockchain, it takes out, it takes out all the databases, it takes out the middle persons, mm -hmm. right? It ta it's, it's all authenticated. Like we've talked in previous shows about cryptocurrencies and how it's, the currencies are mined and authenticated, mm -hmm. multiple transactions. What we looked at yesterday, when I gave your wife $12, Something it like might that. Have been 20. There was you two. Were, yeah, it was gotcha. two thousand five hundred plus miners authenticated that transaction as being correct. Mm -hmm. In the you know, all you needed was seven. So you get was, the transaction record. So I, I verify. I want to make sure we got to because we need to say something. The the data record still has to exist. It's in the blockchain. The transactions in the blockchain. No, everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
<laughs> Everything is in the blockchain. And this doesn't not point back to a database Thank anywhere. You, Andrew. That's a, that's Everything, a good question. Yeah, what you talking about? Everything is in the blockchain. Everything the, is in well, the, the blockchain, blockchain is just a distributed ledger, though. That's just a but ledger of the transactions. Every, no, and every record. Right, right. But not just the transactions, every record. Your entire medical record and anything that's happened with you gets stacked up on the blockchain time and time again. It's everything. It's, it's the whole, mm. your whole. So it's, so it's also a file repository. It's a file repository and a distributed ledger around mm. the entire world. Okay. But I get let that. Let me ask that again because I think that you, that's a really good question. Yeah, I, have. I didn't because, understand it that way. Yeah. Yeah, you thought it was a pointer. Well, and I, so I have another question about that as well because what is in the medical record blockchain yes. could have data from lots of different inputs, and we've talked about some of those. But some of them, you know, when I got born, a couple of things happened. One is... <laughs> the I, world what's stopped. he going to say? The world yeah. shook, and the, the, well, there was an the, eclipse. And and <laughs> my, mom, my mom went to the hospital, and there was a medical record. Created, yeah. But there was also a transaction that went to the county to create... To log your birth. Yes, my birth. Yeah. So the real, so then the next, Do you have the evidence of this? Is, actually, yes. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Without blockchain. <laughs> wow. I'm with you. Uh, but you see where so he's going with how, this? How <laughs> does the data that's on my birth certificate right. from the county then get paired up in the blockchain with the hospital data that said... And, and back in those days, how did yeah. it? It never did. No. It was a fact. It was just a fact. So yeah. I, I, my, my father is a perfect example. His birth record shows up in two locations. On a rock? Only two. It's on, Only a, two. on a stone <laughs> tablet somewhere? But he shows up in two locations. I thought he had a twin because he showed up in two locations. Oh. But it, his birth got registered in two locations. Hmm. So, but it, it took analysis to figure out that this is the same person, but for whatever reason back in 1914, or 11, 14, 14, it got registered in two registries for some reason. That was redundancy back then. Yeah, it could be a redundancy <laughs> back then. But now you bring. You want to miss anybody? Yeah. So bring Let's it just forward, register them bring twice. It forward with 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 yeah. the new the new generations and our new lives as we're going forward. Mm -hmm. We start from birth. Your entry goes into the blockchain, and from that piece going forward, fully encrypted, which mm -hmm. you love, mm -hmm. fully encrypted, authenticated uh, on a ledger that goes all around the entire globe has to be authenticated by at least so many miners to verify that that record is correct, and then it goes on to the next edition, the next edition, and the next edition. I'm telling you, this is, in my somewhat uneducated opinion, the, and you'll we'll talk about it when I'm dead and gone, which will be registered in the blockchain. Well, I think they um, should get some <laughs> adults to run it instead of miners, though. That's all. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> How do you spell miners on that one? <laughs> Al Serrano, instead of miners, you're killing me. I, I was just thinking out loud, sorry. Yeah. I caught it, though. It was one of those things, you know. Really nicely done. Nicely I can go done. home now. <laughs> I, I lost my blockchain of thought. So you've, got this, my blockchain so you've got this incorruptible digital Un ledger. Non-hackable. Unhackable digital ledger, ledger of, of entire, healthcare transactions. Every healthcare transaction programmed over your entire existence. Yes, yeah. over your entire existence that goes from one spot to the next spot to the next spot. That's why if you look and you just, if you do research now and you're looking on the uh, on the internet and checking out things, there's I think there's eight eight oh, at least eight startup technology healthcare companies that are using the blockchain as the foundation um, for research and all kinds of different things so that they can mine that data. Mm -hmm. So mine that data that's in the blockchain. Um, so all of that's happening. IBM is putting millions of dollars into mm. this particular space just because of the blockchain um, capabilities. It's, it's, it's a brilliant piece of technology. Uh, what I like is also the idea that it, it's, um, it, it's forever. Yes. So, the, you know, the age of it, all the transactions are there and recorded. So everything that starts with you, ends with you, it can be verified. You know, like uh, you were talking about uh, earlier, maybe taking all the medicines that you took, right. all this kind of stuff. All the stuff is right there. Okay, so with that, so we've already burned through half the show already. Isn't it amazing how we just do this? So we burned through half the show. We're going to come back and we're going to look at uh, uh, 
from a pharmaceutical standpoint. Okay. What would happen from a prescription that got issued? Okay. And awesome. what, what might happen with that in the blockchain? Anyway, Gordo the tech star, Andrew the security guy, Rick's the healthcare expert, aka Former. the fun meister. Former. <laughs> fun meister. Um, we're here on Ibashi Talk. We'll be back in about a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, which streams live on thinktechhawaii.com, uploads to YouTube, and broadcasts on cable OC16 and Alelo 54. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Living in this crazy world, so caught up in the confusion, nothing is making sense. Freedom. Is it a feeling? Is it a place? Is it an idea? At Dive Heart, we believe freedom is all of these and more, regardless of your ability. Dive Heart wants to help you escape the bonds of this world and defy gravity. Since 2001, Dive Heart has helped children, adults, and veterans of all abilities go where they have never gone before. Dive Heart has helped them transition to their new normal. Search DiveHeart.org and share our mission with others, and in the process, help people of all abilities imagine the possibility. Hello, hi, and how you doing? Gordon the Techs are here. We're here with uh, Rick the Fun, Rick, Rick's the Fun Meister, <laughs> Andrew the Security Guy. I've only known you for like 30 years, and I still get your name wrong. Anyway, and we're here talking about crypto, not cryptocurrency, but the blockchain, the foundation. Blockchain part, and healthcare. And healthcare, whether it can go there. We've got into a new we're, we're figuring it out discussion in the first half. But let's take it. Let's just take a look, and we'll try to walk through something. Um, a prescription for drugs. Okay. Okay. And I have a slide, and, and we'll bring that up. You and can't we'll just, see. You can't we'll see that on the uh, what's it called? On the blog. No, the the podcast. The podcast. Yeah. Can't so see we'll, that on the we'll, podcast. We'll, we'll, we'll try to. But if explain. you go to the website, we'll try to explain it and so on. So we're going to bring this. Uh, we're going to bring this slide up soon, I hope, and we'll show you. Oh, there it is. Look there we go. So the blockchain in drug traceability. Okay. So, and I'm thinking about not only just think about medical marijuana and all the other things that are happening. Okay. So, so you take a look at this. You take a. <laughs> hey, that's why they were pissed off at GCCA. Anyway, another story. So the manufacturer produces a drug. Right. All right. Yeah. So that ent that production of that drug goes into the blockchain. Okay. So and it gets a unique code. It gets all its all it gets unique, its information. It gets a unique that code, right? Right. And a hash is produced, and it goes through the and, it goes through the distributed ledger. And the hash is part of the blockchain. Part of the blockchain okay. goes through the distributed ledger worldwide and is authenticated and verified. Mm -hmm. The information is stored in the blockchain okay. about that drug. Now the manufacturer of that drug sends the drug to the wholesaler. Okay. All part of the blockchain. That transaction moving to the wholesaler. Yep. It's all, all in that blockchain. The wholesale um, verifies the origin of the product, so you know they got it from the yeah. from yeah. the right, which is important. So because there's a lot of money coming in, counterfeit drugs, counterfeit drugs, counter counter drugs, counter counter drugs counter or whatever, yeah. and the transaction is then also entered into the blockchain. Okay. So the history is there, authenticated worldwide because it goes in a, in a uh, non-centralized ledger. All around the entire world. Everybody agrees. Uh, that, 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 that everybody real. agrees that this is real stuff. This goes so that goes there. So then what happens is the wholesaler sends the drugs to the pharmacist. Okay. Okay. The pharmacist has to go to the same processes, right? So the pharmacist go. The pharmacist verifies the wholesaler, but because the blockchain has all the technology, the the previous pieces have already been authenticated and verified. Mm -hmm. They're real, and so now he is sitting on this these drugs in the pharmacy. Right now, the pharmacist, and we're going to go. We're going to sidebar after I do this. The pharmacist delivers the drug to the patient. Okay. Right. And he's we, and he's competent. Or you it's, or it's me or whatever. Right. So yeah, the, he knows it's the real. The stuff. patient verifies the origin. The, the, the patient is authenticates and verifies the origin of the drug, so they know it's not mm -hmm. again because it's in an authenticated right. blockchain, and the transaction between the pharmacist and the patient is now complete. So that just went there. My next question is, what about the insurance company? Right? What do you, were you, what, were you entitled, were you, in, we're in are you covered? Are you covered? Does your medical plan cover that? Because when you go to the doctor today and you get prescribed a drug and the doctor electronically sends that to the pharmacy, the pharmacy has to then go and do fax or whatever, fax, your HMSA, fax. HMSA. It's got to be. It's got to be HIPAA compliant. Yep. Fax is HIPAA compliant. If you call first. Oh. If Lord. you call first. 
and said, I'm sending you a fax. How do they fax. cover it laying in the tray thing? So, so, yeah. I'm like sending you a attendance. fax. So the healthcare expert, if you call first. You, you dreamed this up? <laughs> I didn't dream this up. <laughs> it, was, it was our federal government. He said he was given this law. He didn't make it. It was, it was regulations. All right. So, All right. so you, see, you call first. You call first and say there's a fax coming in from coming Mr. In. Bruce to, pre to prescribe him be, for this drug. Be mm -hmm. yeah. Get there. Gotcha. Get there. So he gets it. So now, so all. So my whole point is, we just went through this trans. This part where we went from the manufacturer of the drug all the way mm -hmm. to it gets to the patient. What ties in with that as well is also the insurance part. You know, the, the the doctor writes this prescription on a piece of paper, right? They call it in from the doctor's office. All that stuff can be done in the blockchain. Yeah. The on the same sure. blockchain. Even it in has it. to be done in the background. Can I mean the the piece that you had just showed the four steps, but the insurance, the doctor prescribing, and getting the information. Say if I pick up a prescription from my pharmacy. What's your copay? Then exactly. What's my copay? The only way that the pharmacy knows that is that they have been talking to. My insurance. insurance company. Exactly. So it saves all that. It saves so we're, that. So we're talking about some efficiency here. Yeah. Yeah. Huge Verifiable efficiency. And, efficiency. and we're talking about, the, when we've had previous shows, we talked about the high cost of healthcare. Mm -hmm. Why do you think healthcare is so expensive when you have to send all these faxes, right. make all these phone calls? Because he's using fax machines over there. <laughs> and some of it, I mean, if you, if you have an HMO, and Kaiser would be an example of an HMO, if, right? that's one organization. And so... My pharmacy, if I'm a Kaiser member, I go to a Kaiser pharmacy. They have that information, right. and it's all, all they get. But if I have a non-HMO, say a, I'll just say a Blue Cross Blue Shield. Shield, like an a then, HMSA type. Yeah, yep. that doesn't own the pharmacy. The pharmacy's got to be talking with the oh. doctor, with the insurer, right, and that's of course where this becomes even more more efficient. So you take so it to the next level. What yeah. if it's a, a something to do with your you've got some um, uh, cancer and you're going through different treatments, treatment right? regimens, uh, treatment regimens, the, all the isotopes, all the stuff that's going on, it, and tracking of all of that. What was I, I read but the other day? Twenty five percent of healthcare cost is waste. Imagine this. Twenty five percent is waste. But also think you've been in the business for a long time. You you mm. think that might be a little low? I'm not going to go there. Okay, but I'm just that, saying. But but, the, but you yeah, know if you read if you read it's twenty five percent is waste. Now if you can bring that waste down yeah. because of the blockchain, yeah. and all those records can be then used for research. That's what I was going to say. All the all so, the research is automatically ver it's verified first of all, so we know it's valid, and it's yeah. all collected and available for for mining. For research? But the other thing for, I think, some of our viewers as well is if I, if I can lower my premium yep. by 20 25%, because it, that is the waste number, yep. then, you know, that cuts down my health care cost. Yeah, if, you're, if you're paying $1,000 a month and you get if, a 25% if I own a percent business drop. I, you mm -hmm. know, and I'm covering my employees and their family, or if... And, and another issue would be, of course, it, you know, if I have to pay out of pocket, if I can reduce that cost by 20, 25 percent. Exactly. The other piece, though, is if that money can be, as you say, used for health care. Uh, the research part. Research. So, yeah, so we yeah. add, we add then, this. Then the health care can be stepped up. Can be stepped up. So one of the questions that, that someone asked me the other day there was like, well, why would someone want to mine healthcare records? Because there's no one exactly money to it. But here's what it is, and this is what's happening. Researchers are turning into the miners of the blockchain for healthcare records because their reward is they get access to the data to assist them with their yeah. research. Sure. And so if you're a drug and company what or whatever and, what and, you're, and you're, you're yeah, and you've got to deal with all of those things all of a sudden now, you're going to turn into a mining company as well. Mm -hmm. Not a miner, but mm -hmm. a mining company that's going to be... An adult mining an company. An adult to be doing this, to be mining yeah, because with that, you're going to get access to this, all this demographic data, incredible amount of data on a single blockchain without going to thousands of databases all across the country with little doctor's office, dentist's offices, mm -hmm. or whatever. 
all in there and start doing your research. We get things like, um, um, that's why IBM's looking at it, right? They got Watson. Remember Watson was the uh, computer that was on Jeopardy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, beat everybody on Jeopardy? Well, you know there's a whole, whole team doing Watson Health where uh, Watson yeah. is doing all of this analytics of all of this data that's coming in from everywhere, including the medical journals, journals which mm -hmm. you and I can't read all of them while we're doing our job, brings all that together mm -hmm. and, take, and, and that comes up with an analysis and then also comes up with the best payment program. Awesome. All because we start looking at what's included in this blockchain. I was thinking that even with that, with that powerful data, right? When you, because you can obviously see trends moving in a, just for example, in a, in a, in a, uh, let's just use opioids for example. Exactly. As the trend decreases, that manufacturer you talked about from a real-time raw materials perspective can begin to order less. How about because he's going to manufacture can prescribe less. less. So, I mean, how yeah, about so the, the how supply about chain the up and down has prescribes has impacted. less. I mean, I went in for a, a minor procedure a few months back. I got prescribed 20 opioids. 20. 20 pills. I used one and a half. Wow. Where did the rest go? Well, when they do the... Back to when the blockchain. They do the, when they do the... Um, uh, you can turn your drugs into the... Place? The place where they do a thing. And I do it every once in a while. <laughs> I just, I'll just take them there. Nice. But you know, but if not, you could sell them on the street, which I ain't going to do. But I'm just saying, <laughs> why did I get? But if, you, if that was in the blockchain, I mean, and you can also track these things now. You can put them. Well, if they if they were sampling your blood every day, they'd know you only took one and a half. Exactly. You, you might get a, 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 a you might get a, a drone from Amazon to come take your 18 and a half back. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but you see, you see, yeah, yeah. see where we can we can now. Everybody's going. This is Big Brother. This is Big Brother. This is Big Brother. But it's not because it's an really. encrypted record. Yeah, I it's know. really just a better way of managing data. Yeah, and the transactions between the data. Data, right? And keeping the cost and down. Never guessing if they occurred or not because yeah. we've got it's not centrally managed. It's distributed. The distributed the distributed ledger is really the power you, of blockchain. You, you just I, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. The yeah. distributed letter, ledger. Like there's no one central bank, yeah. there's no one central hospital, there's no one central blue, blue cross, blue, blue cross, cross, blue shield. There's no one central um, HMO. It's not. It's your. It's, see, this is my point. It's my record. I wonder how it's it'll. It's my. What record. do you think it'll take to get there? So, because obviously there's a, this would be a massive shift in the industry. So, would one of the big guys have to go and then everyone else follow? Would we sign up all the little guys first? Well, that's what, do you what think? we're going to talk about on a future show. So, guess what? We're done. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we're going to have to hold this because, you, know, if, if, you know, depending on how, what kind of reaction we get to the show, we can bring this to the next level. And if someone feels that they're an expert in this space because we're just having a conversation here, yeah. get, give us a call because I'd love to have a, a hospital or an insurer or whatever come here and say yeah. to us, let's talk about how Those it's going to work. Those are the big guys. Those are the big guys. And they better wake up to it. I'm telling you right now, when I'm dead and gone, remember it, gentlemen. They're going to say, remember that old fuck? Gordo, when he had this thing <laughs> about the blockchain. Well, this will be, you'll still be on YouTube. Yeah, so. yeah they'll bring it up. See, Hopefully, it was, I'm right? sure YouTube will be in the blockchain. And guess so what? your episode my, my, will never go and away. And so will my, my death and the sight of my uh, uh, stone. <laughs> stone. <laughs> anyway, Gordo the Tech Star here. We don't have a cup today because there's, there's no word guest. It's just us. So uh, Gordo the Tech Star here, Andrew the Security Guy, Rick's the Fun Meister, healthcare expert. Par excellence. <laughs> See my French. So par excellence. Anyway, we want to thank you for joining us here in Hibachi Talk. Thanks, everybody, for making this work. We'll see you guys all next week. And like we say at the end of every show, how you, how doing? you doing? How you doing?